Now, there's a there's a theory that is actually being um, tossed about that these people that have this ancient well they have this memory of childbirth right so okay. all of a sudden you're being born there's bright lights above you there's a, a man or a woman who's the surgeon with a mask that covers their face so all you see is their eyes okay and everything looks bright and and it's terrifying and clinical and you're on this mm -hmm. table and everything's cold most of these alien abduction experiences that people recount they take place in some sort of uh, a Hospital medical facility setting. yeah yeah and yeah. everything is bright and strange mm. and cold and they think that what this is is they're they're saying that we had this idea that children don't have memories that babies don't have memories oh, and, and so they yeah. say well why wouldn't they have memories that's ridiculous right. of course yeah. they have memories they have brains they, they grab your right. finger, they look you in the eye. They would have a memory of every second that they were mm. born. And it's probably one of the most profound and disturbing memories because before that, everything is incredibly yeah. peaceful. Yeah. You're inside the mother's womb. You and know, then you're just like taken and out. Then you're pulled and then, out yeah. and then you, there's this bright light above yeah. you. You've never experienced any light. Yeah. So every, and your visual perception, your field of view is all distorted, right? This is oh, the first time you're using your eyes. That's why people have so the like same... So it's like tapping into this memory, yes. this early memory. That's interesting. This yeah. is a theory. It makes hmm. sense to me because if you think about... It makes like, more sense than the abduction. So, well, it does because people don't really go anywhere. See, the thing about the abduction thing yeah. is they put like cameras in people's rooms and, uh, and they uh, say they have these alien abduction okay. experiences, but they don't go anywhere. So oh, what they're doing is they're dreaming. Yeah. I yeah. mean, which is The normal. mind is amazing and, and, a sure. and it's so powerful. And, and we know so little still. Yeah. So about uh, also it. like these, all these, I mean, it's, it's kind of duh because <laughs> they all happen while you're sleeping. Yeah. Like 90 and you're plus right, they are, percent. They tend to be medical. Yeah. It's very medical around. in nature, right? Mm. You're being examined. And then there's also, going back to childbirth, there's also a lot of people that have these experiences that they are being told that either they're taking their baby away from them or they're studying their baby okay. or that they had a baby inside of them that they didn't know right. about and that the aliens have put it there and they're <sighs> taking it it's out. That's right, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it even goes back to the virgin birth, right? I mean, yeah, it's all, yeah. It's all very weird. But this, uh, this memory that people have from childhood is uh, most likely, uh, you know, probably a pretty intense, powerful yeah, that's interesting. memory that's always there. Yeah, and Your affecting. Your first memory. Yeah, and yeah. some people can tap into it and some people can't. Yeah, clearly. sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's, well, it's also a theory while natural childbirth is supposed to be less traumatic, mm. like women having natural childbirth in yeah. a bathtub. You know, like yeah. that that is actually well, we're kind of like moving back to, you know, it's um, men start to get involved in childbirth around the 17th century, 18th century. What happened before um, then? Is it was mostly out. women. Um, so women in the village would come. And actually the term um, gossip comes from the idea the women who would spread the word in the village that someone was going into labor, they were called the gossips. So they would oh, spread the word. Wow. It became sort of a negative thing later. So the, the gossips would spread the word. The women would come in. This was a female-only chamber, um, and men were not really allowed in. A man might be brought in if uh, the mother was dying or if the child was dying. And then in that case, instruments were brought into the birth, the birthing chamber. So mm. the doctor might come in and he might um, take these sort of forceps and, and pick the baby apart and take the baby out. Oh, the baby would die. Gosh. But in those cases, it was like really extreme. Like this was going to happen. Like either the mother was going to die, the baby was going to die. Both of them were going to die. Or if the baby's coming out feet first. Yeah. I mean, but a, midwife, a capable midwife could handle could handle that um but this you know s the cesarean section people think that it comes from the term the, uh, the idea that julius caesar was ripped from the womb of his mother right but um it's unlikely that that story is true because his mother lives into old age so probably mm. the the term cesarean comes from the latin term meaning to cut and the first sort of uh record we have of this happening I think is in the 16th century and it's a farmer and he takes the instruments that he uses to castrate his pigs to cut this baby out of his wife oh, um, Jesus yeah Christ. and and we don't have any records of whether this this probably didn't work again no idea of germs all this kind of stuff um, we but don't know if she lived we uh, yeah I don't have uh, there's no sort of it doesn't follow the records don't follow the story um, but she probably died and the baby probably died as well 